everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Elsie I'm a Kenyan photographer based in the UK so on today's video I'm going to show you how to load an APS film in an APS camera I guess you are wondering what an APS film and an APS camera are I did a video uh, I think a while back uh, for a camera that I have it's this camera right here it's a Canon Access, I don't know how to say the IXUS, so I say Access M1. So I'll just take it out of the case. That's the camera right there. I did a video a while back of me resetting the camera, replacing the battery because the battery had died on it, and I'll leave a link of it somewhere here or in the description below. Uh, you can go and check that video of how I did that, how I set it all up. But in this video today, I am going to show you how to load film in this camera it's pretty simple so this is the film I have it's a Kodak Advantix film it's a 200 ISO film and it has 40 exposures this is the good thing this is one thing I miss about the APS as in it has more exposures it has like four more exposures in comparison to 35 mil but this is, this is like old obsolete tech so uh, I think somebody asked me and I've had lots of questions people asking me what is an APS camera uh, I'm not very technical by the way <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to answer those questions I'm sure you can find videos on YouTube which can explain much better than I can if I remember correctly this film was released to make it easier for people to load to load it in their cameras with 35 mil you have to like literally manually load it on your camera but with this one it's automatic once you put it in the camera it uh, it winds itself i'm trying to explain it the best way that i can so i don't feel uh, like i'm not doing it justice uh, but it's automatic once it, you put the film in the camera and you close the door you'll hear it winding itself around the camera and then you'll be ready to, it will tell you when it's ready to take a picture i'm going to show you how to load this camera in particular i am assuming a lot of aps cameras the loading mechanism is the same for um, i think most of aps cameras sorry if you hear any noise i'm doing this recording when it's raining so the rain has just decided to so that's the rain you're hearing in the background um so i'm gonna like dive right in and load this camera and show you how to do it this is what the camera looks like so those are the function buttons and there's a display there this display once the battery is in it never goes off so this is the how you switch it on and how you switch it off so at the moment there's no film if how to know there's no film this is the latch to open the door Normally if there's film it will never open and that's where you put the film. If there is a film inside it will never open until the film is finished. This is a film right there which I'm going to be putting in. So I remove it. So as you can see I just opened it. It's new. Okay, technically not used. That's the canister. That's the film there. It has these markings here that tell you if the film is used. So, and those markings uh, tie in with the markings over here. So, one, two, three, four. So, an exposed, partially exposed. Uh, fully exposed and developed so as you can see this marking is white here so it means the film has not been exposed yet until I put it in the camera uh, where it will be partially exposed it means something happened in the camera and you needed to get the film out for because it got stuck or something in the camera so uh, I've rarely experienced partially exposed film before so this has never happened to me uh, so all my film that I've used in the past is always fully exposed and then I get to, when it's developed this white marking will shift to there. So if I take the camera, open the hatch, make sure the film lines up like that 
because that's where it will this is where the film will come out of so I'll drop it in once I close the door as you can see it went to 40 and then 1 so it's telling me the film is now ready to use so 40 showing me the film has 40 exposures so that it's on the first frame so if I set this up like randomly and at the back of the at the back of this camera it has three settings C H and P here but I leave it at the classic uh, frame the H I can't remember high definition frame I think and the P is panoramic so I'm, I hardly think I'm gonna use those two other settings so I'm just gonna leave them leave this lever on uh, C and then I'm just gonna take a quick picture Ooh, look at that let's frame it in camera in camera there you go and it's just changed to two there you have it I've loaded my camera so I'm just gonna switch it off and I'm gonna keep the canister for when the film is done so when I take it to the lab and have it developed and that's the case for the camera so yeah the questions people have been asking are where can I buy the camera and where can I get the film from? With the camera, I'm sure you, if you go to places like eBay, you'll find people selling them. Websites like uh, people who re recycle, give away stuff for free. I know of free goal, uh, where you can just put in a request and ask somebody if they have an old camera laying, on, laying around their house that they're not gonna use anymore if they're willing to give it to you for free. Uh, you might get lucky. With the film, the same thing. You might uh, go to places like eBay and buy them, but with film it's a bit tricky because people don't like buying an expired film. Uh, so the best bet again, like what I did, I went on my local Frigo. Frigo in the UK uh, can be in different areas, uh, like different boroughs. So I went to my local one and I asked if anybody had film laying about in their house. Uh, I, I can't remember if I specifically asked for APS film, but if I did, maybe I did, and that's why I got it. And that's where I got this film from. It certainly expired. It expired in 2008. Uh, so even when I take pictures and they don't work out, it's fine because I got them for free. So it's a good way of getting stuff. If you want to get into film photography, it's a good way of getting uh, film. And experimenting and getting to learn your film camera so yeah I went on free goal put in a request and somebody sent uh, had film laying about in their house that they weren't using anymore they didn't need any use for them and they gave me the APS uh, film and they had extra 35 mil film they weren't using so I'm gonna be using that film later on uh, when I go about photographing so Again, I'll be experimenting and I will share those images with you in the coming months. <laughs> I don't know when anyway. If I do, they'll either be here on my YouTube channel or in my blog and I'll leave a link to my blog in the description below. And that's all there is to it. I've shown you how to load an APS film in an APS camera, which is this one. This is one of my first Canon cameras, by the way, <laughs> if I recall correctly. Yeah, I think this is one of my first Canon cameras. Wow, I'm certainly a Canon girl. <laughs> I can't wait to take pictures and see how they come out. I, I'm hoping the, the photographs will come out okay. Actually, you know what, let me just take a selfie. Let's see, let's take a selfie. Oh, I did it, I guess. That's it for this week's video, so I will catch you all on the next one. See you later. Peace.